Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you, uh, well today, it's more like it, it's going to be put together. Because it's probably going to take a little bit. But I'm going to be uh, rebuilding my seats in the Beetle. Now this is a driver's side front seat bottom. And you can see, I've had it apart before. A few years ago I was going to rebuild them. Right now I'm taking this, this spring off of here. Uh, so you can see, there's these these tabs uh, all around the seat frame, one for every uh, little spike. So you're going so to use a screwdriver, just get it under there, pull it up, and then you're going to take your frame off. So I'll be back to you when I get the frame off. Alright, so I've gotten the springs off the frame, and you can see all these little uh, seat barbs. They hold the covers on as well as the springs. Uh, so before you even think about uh, replacing this or doing your seat covers, seats, whatever, uh, make sure all these are intact. You can make new ones out of steel. They're very easy. Just a strip with a point on one end that you can the weld, pop rivet. Um, you can use self-tapping screws instead of these uh, on the tops. I wouldn't do that on the bottom, so since they hold the springs in. Um, but you can see your little backrest. Um, you also want to make sure that your uh, little slider release works great. This one works fantastic. My other one, not so much, so I'm going to have to do something there. This is the seat top for 67. However, it's pretty much the exact same from 65 to 67. Now, when you're painting these, the tops, you're only going to see from here down. So I'm only going to paint from here down in the fancy paint, the L43 up here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give the whole thing a coat of black Rust-Oleum. Uh, most of the interior colors on a Beetle or a bus, L43 is also used on the uh, dashboard tops on buses. They're going to be very hard to find at like a... Uh, at least L43, it's going to be very hard to find at like somewhere that does PPG or DuPont or something like that. I had mine mixed um, where they do BASF, which is Glazerit, RM, Limco. Um, they were the original supplier to Volkswagen, so they still have it. This is L43. It's uh, hard to tell, but it's basically black, but it's just a very, very, very dark gray. Um, that's why it's called gray black and uh, that's the colors I'll be using on my frames and my steering column and all that so that's what I'm getting prepped now I'm gonna shoot this through a uh, paint gun all right guys so I got the frames in primer I just used the uh, last of my Kirker uh, perfect prime just gonna top coat with the uh, L43 but it looks like there might be a few runs that I have to get sanded out so uh, I'll see about that once it's dry enough to handle and sand. We're working on these side covers now. These cover the visible portion of the seat base uh, when when the when they're in the car you don't see the mats underneath the seats. So this is the driver's side. I got this off of 60 this is off 67 I think. You can see I've sanded it down. These two tabs are broken on them. These hold them to the frame. So I just cut some to size out of some 22 gauge and pop, rivet them, pop riveted them on. And I had to put a washer on top and on the back. That was kind of uh, exciting to do, to say the least. Uh, but it got done around there. And if you look closely at this one, you can still see it better. These have a textured coating, or textured paint, and you could probably get that effect by lowering the air pressure on your gun to a very extreme amount, and you'd get that. But I am opting to use a product that Rust-Oleum makes. Called hammered 
paint and it gives about the same finish probably not as aggressive but you won't really notice you probably wouldn't even notice if they weren't hammered finished but whatever so i'm going to use some of this coat these and then i'll use the l43 We're gonna let that dry, probably 15 minutes. I'll get you off the tripod and get you a close up look at the texture. Like I said, it might be a little too texty, but I don't mind. Actually, no, it looks pretty good to me. All right guys, so it's about time I actually start getting the seat covers on the car, or on the seats rather. And so I'm gonna start doing that today. Um, they've been painted. Everything I'm using here, besides the paint and obviously the frames, are coming from Olsberg West. Um, this is the coconut fiber uh, stuff. This is the late 67, where it's cut out so that you can do the side latches. And this is the little backer. You can also use just cardboard, I believe. But they sell, I don't remember how much they were when I got them. I got these probably four years ago. I think they're like eight bucks for the little backer pieces. And I obviously have covers as well. Original red 67 basket leaf. So we're going to start putting this together. Now this is the original style padding. You can also get foam. But um, I'm going for original. This The coconut fiber also, I would... I think most people agree on is that that's the source of the Volkswagen smell. So that's why you would want to use that rather over the uh, foam. But let's start getting stuff together. Let me get that spring. So here's my seat frame. You can see I've attached the sliding release mechanism because this is the late 67. They use these onto uh, the end of the run, I believe. Just uh, changing the thing uh the knob 67 actually is supposed to have uh plain smooth plastic uh knobs and the surround there's a fancy name for the surround i can't remember right now um i actually do have smooth knobs but pebbled things which the the surrounds are easily replaced and um, if I do come across some smooth 67 ones, I will get them. Jody's car is a good one to look at. He has the smooth things, if that's what you would like to, if you'd like to see how those would look, he has them on his car. But it's easy, pretty easy to put these on. You just crook this in so that it's hooked that way, push it up, and then push it all the way up so you can get this peg, this, slip it over this, and then come us back. So that's all set. This is my spring. You can see you've got a spot so that it clears the thing. Now these, I believe, are actually from a 68 or 9 seat. They should work. They are held on with screws, so I have to go get some screws from the little thing that'll fit in there. And of course, this goes on before the spring. They go on at the same time. So I checked out the video Wolfsburg West made just as a quick reference because they also made a video. I think you can buy it from them still. Uh, they put the little diamond things pointing upward. So I will also, um, alright, so we're going to try that and see what happens. There doesn't seem to be any good instructions on how to do the paperboard back. Let me get my screws. And the frame. So this thing is just sandwiched between here. I'm sure if this doesn't, uh, want to cooperate, we can... Use some tape or something. Make it work. Alright guys, so it's the next day. After far more work than you should expect to have to do, 
I got this seat spring onto the frame. I did have to use a self-tapping screw in uh, two corners. One corner just because the screw wasn't threading into the, the little hole, but this corner because uh, this frame, the center bar that goes like here, appears to be bent. So I think that was preventing it from sitting in the proper curve so it wouldn't holes wouldn't line up too well. So I, I got one side in, got the top corner on this side. Then over here I had to uh, stick like a, it was like a little pick in and pull it over and I just drilled a self tapper in just to get it in the right spot and put the correct screw in. But I'm gonna lose the self tapper because it's not gonna get in the way. Then I got this thing back on, the release, and we're all set. So I've got, uh, let me get some stuff from over here, unprepared. We've got the coconut fiber from Wolfsburg West. And I ran down, Wolfsburg West sells the juice material that is um, proper factory for these seats. And I do think I have some, but I ran down to the local uh, auto parts store. And they had this cheap carpet. It's like 10 bucks for the roll. And it's, it's cheap. It feels like felt. But that'll be just fine. It's just going to fill in the cover. Now, when you put these frames on, just remember, don't forget to hammer these tabs down. They're going to hold it there. And then you got these ones for the, the frame. It's the cover itself. But here's this nice carpet. This is the carpet out of the thing you can see you can see light through it it'll be fine like i said it's just like a a filler you could use that stuff they sell at harbor freight for under carpets i think you could probably get or maybe uh u-haul sells it too like it's like this it looks like that the headliner the center headliner padding it's like a recycled fabric you could use that too but this i think is like 9.99 and I also got a can of uh, High Strength 90. This is mostly for the headliner, but I'm also going to probably use it just to hold it in, in place. And on these ones, there's only, on the seat back, there's only a strip going up and a strip going up. It just kind of fills out the corner. But uh, let's get this on here. So this shouldn't be too hard to do. Um... Hopefully it looks good. This is the late 67 style where you have the slider. And I don't believe they're sided. Just like the covers. They shouldn't have sides. Besides, you know, front and back. They should just go on. And look at that. All right. So I got the uh, cushion on there. Threw a hog ring on the bottom just because it didn't seem to be sitting right, probably because it's been sitting on a shelf for ages. But uh, let's try fitting the cover. Uh, sometimes you have to throw them in the wash and dryer. I mean, you throw them in the dryer for a minute or two, just softens them up. But uh, hopefully we will not need that. This is the bag they come in. Okay, now, you can see, right here, there's a flap that a metal rod goes in. Now, you're going to want to use some sort of metal rod. I am lucky enough that I got a free set of Ruin 66 seat covers online that I'm going to be using to make dealer accessory slip-on covers for these if I uh, ever want to do something like that. So I'm going to make like the Terry Cloth style. But uh, he included the rods in those, so I'm going to go grab those. And uh, I'll be back down to put them in this. All right, guys, so I've moved to the basement. Uh, I've got the cover in the dryer right now. I'm just trying to heat it up because it's giving me some trouble. So, 
hopefully that helps it a bit. All right, I've now put a trash bag over the horse hair, mostly, hoping to make it, the cover slide easier. Now I've got the covers in the, the dryer again. It's been about seven minutes, they're piping hot. So we're gonna roll them out. So, here go. Oh no. This side is fine. They're already less warm than they were. Should still stretch fine though. Got it. All right, so you can see here I've got my driver's seat bottom stuff laid out. It's been another day. Yesterday I got the cover on the uh, top, so now I'm gonna work on the bottom, and then we'll have one seat that I can, you know, have ready. So I've got the coconut fiber padding from Wolfsburg West, the original spring, and my frame. Uh, you can see here I've got some wire. This is for the cover. Um, you can probably get by with something thicker than this, but you know, this is what I actually have here and that I don't have to run to the store for. So I'm gonna use this. So first things first, I probably wanna put this on here. Now, seat bottom, spring, it's not attached with screws. Thankfully, uh, you can just put it on. I'm just looking at how it's made. I know how it goes on. You put it on and you use the hooks. It's like the bottom on the top part of the seat where it hooks on. It's just like that, but all the way around. So yeah. Right, so putting some carpet stuff here. Shake the glue up a bit. Sprays. Like I said, we're trying to be careful not to get it on the paint of the seat frame, even though you'll probably never see it. I'm just gonna do that. Take the razor blade. Slices. All right, so from what I've seen about doing the seat bottom, you're going to want to do it upside down, meaning you, you have the seat cover and you put the seat frame into it. Now my cover's been in the dryer for four minutes now, three minutes. So I'm gonna give it a couple more, but the seat bottoms also have a metal rod. And like I said earlier, some metal wire. And you wanna use the metal wire because the TMI seats do not come with it. And the way Volkswagen designed these seats where it hooks, if you don't have something there, the hook is just gonna pull right through. So you need to do something, which is why I've got the wire. Now, it's been almost five minutes. I'm going for five. Um, seat covers on the bottom also have a piece of string you're gonna tie off when we get to that point. These are definitely warm, nice and soft. You know what? Actually, we're just gonna go for it this way because they do seem quite warm enough. If you were to ask me, but uh, it's appearing. Uh, um, here we go. It is time. 
So what I'm gonna do, this is back first, I think. Oh, which means I gotta put the wire in. Sorry if I'm in the way. Yeah. There we go, just got the right one. It still sticks out a bit, but you're never gonna see it. First thing, I flip it over. Make sure all these are all good when pulled. Like this front, kind of want to hold up a bit more. That should look really, really good. Yeah, these are just as tight as the tops. Which is good because everyone complains about seat covers being baggy. I will not have that problem. Oh yeah, that's looking, that's looking pretty good. Beautiful. That was hardly in frame for you guys. I am sorry. Ooh, a little scuff, that's fine. So now, you see this? Here. This is string. I'm gonna pass it under one of these. Pull it, you know. Toss it under again. This one. Pull it. Under. Over again. And we're just gonna meet in the middle. And if I can tie a knot here. Okay. That is awesome. Looks fantastic. Okay, so I've hammered down all the little tacks. I've gone to the garage and gotten the things I think I'll need to uh, put this together. So, first things first, we're gonna slide this ever so carefully onto the bottom. in the garage, so I'm going to leave that. We have a seat. Yeah. Cool. That's going to be annoying, so I'm definitely going to touch this up. Okay, now, on these late 67 seats, you can feel around, right there, there's a release mechanism. So I'm going to go get the razor blade. Now, you only get one chance to do this right. I mean, once you cut a hole in here, you're gonna end up replacing the entire cover.
Bingo. And there it is. There's your completed Volkswagen Beetle seat. Now it's not perfect. There's some things I don't like. But uh, you can't really expect more for never having done upholstery. Doing it in a garage in a basement with basic tools. Well, somewhat basic. You can do this with spray cans. Wolfsburg West does sell the correct color in the spray can. And, uh, you know, having never done it. I think it looks fantastic, especially for my car, which is, you know, I was going for daily driver quality. You know, this thing with the 67, 68 only uh, smooth thing. But I do have, unfortunately, a pebbled one of these. They came out with 67. Works. Do that. It should spring back, but it's not. I'm probably assuming the paint is currently too thick. So I can deal with that. But looks good. This thing. I'm hoping it will work. I really don't care. But uh, I think it looks awesome. I think it's going to look super sharp with the black exterior with the red interior. So uh, let me know what you think. This is going to be the end of this video. It's probably going to be a long one. I haven't put all the clips together, but there's a lot of parts. I'm going to fast forward a lot of the painting and stuff. But uh, let me know what you think of these covers. Um, obviously, this scenario is exactly the same for the uh, passenger side. And the back seat. I don't know if I'm recovering it yet. I'll get it down from the attic and see. That'll be a separate video because this one's already long enough. But, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think of these in a comment below or, uh, you know, on Instagram, Facebook. I'm possibly going to be starting a Facebook group uh, like Duckman has. Uh, I don't know what it would be. Probably very similar to that. But uh, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, or if you've been lurking and uh, have been using these videos or watching them. Really appreciate that. And if you did uh, subscribe, leave a like, comment that you subscribed. That'd be nice to see. And uh, like I said, let me know what you think of these things. I'm going to be really excited to put them in the car when I get to that. I said previously I, I got carpeting uh, seat, it's not seat mats, that's a bus thing. Floor mats coming from Wolfsburg West in the mail. And I'll start putting the interior together. Headliner sitting on top of there. Still haven't gotten around to that. I'll get to it. Probably after work on Saturday. Start doing it tomorrow. It's been sitting out on the roof for about a week. But that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.